All right, so, ha ha ha. All right, so, hello, hello, hello. Let me fix the lighting. Let me fix, I don't know, everything. See what's going on. All right, so today I'm on TeamSpeak Broadcasting, so I need to move that. Whoever's on, so sorry. Move that. Okay, so what we're going to do today is chill stream, which I did not put in the title, but you're going to have to trust me on that. On my things list of things to do is we're going to um, uh, let me come into the chat crafty get the other thing going. No, nope, we want this. All right, so these are some things we made last time, uh, and we're going to have to excuse me. I'm a little out of it. My kindergartner started today, and it's breaking my heart, so, but she did well. So, we're going to do some crafty stuff. So, first thing we're going to do is um, I made a little while ago this bag that was a Doctor Who themed bag, and it was awesome. And I field tested it, and it was a little small. That was not awesome. <laughs> so what we're going to do today is we're going to change up what I did and make it better. So we're going to start there. So first we're going to open up a new window. Oh, no, we're just going to open recent. So, actually, I'm going to start all the way over again because. Let's close that. Because what we made was not suitable, unfortunately. Um, it was just not. Um, all right. Let's get my windows all set. No, that's going to make it smaller. So let's make it bigger. And do that. Okay. So we are going to um, let me tilt that back this way so you can see when I go to machines. All right. We are going to redo the bag, like I said, um, but we're going to do some sizing. Um, this time because I just kind of winged it and that was not the right thing to do. Kellett, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, Dead Realms. Good to see you. Good to see you. All right. So I'm going to get a bag and we're going to make this happen. Hello, hello. All right, so. Oh, why is this doing? Tw okay, so. I am trying to make it so that you guys can hear my music a little bit because it's pretty cool. But that has been a problem. So we're just not going to do that. You're going to have to believe me that I'm listening to music. <laughs> and if anyone wants to, me to turn on the song stuff, I will gladly, gladly do that. Hello, greats! Good to see you. I found a corgi, by the way. A corgi design. I will show you. Oh, let me see if I can do it right now. Bean. 
I was like, ooh, I might have to make this a corgi keychain because who doesn't love some corgi keychains? Corgi search. Corgi. There we go. How adorable is that? Right? I mean, come on. Stinking cute. Who wouldn't want that on their keys? I know I would. So let's move you down there. All right. <laughs> I know how cute. <laughs> it's a little crazy. So, all right. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to redo this bag business because we want it not to suck. And the, the one I made did not suck. I'll be fair. It just was not big enough. So I used last time one size poop. I used this one. And it got kind of lost. So I think I'm going to do this one. And I'm going to try to make it as big as the hoop. So that, obviously without the paper. So that the design uh, fills more of the bag. Because since it's really a, a rather plain design, we want it to have some sort of element of, I don't know, increased awesome. And uh, that's just not going to happen without some changes so we're gonna do that um one moment i'm going to uh i just gotta quickly tweet out um not tweet out um but go on my facebook page for my shop i am working on things live i type and talk let's just I do have a website right there. All right, so I'm gonna. What I'm gonna do first is change the hoop size. This is a, and you can see them printed on them. Mine are all gummed up because I use I don't know a million. I use them a million times. Spray them on, but on one of the sides, I should be able to see what this one is. Oh, it's on the back, which is good. So it's a 240 by 150, and it's all in millimeters because it's the better way to measure things, let's be honest. Right? So this is how big the design is, and that's good because I think... Oh, no, we don't. I don't know what the heck I just did there. Um, so that's a good size for the hash marks. Um, I don't like how they look like that, though. That's okay. So what we're going to do is... Oh, I see why they look like that. Un momento, por favor. To create, to modify... It's a slightly different program. No? Modify? Yeah? No? Nothing wants to work. Great. Quality streamer. <laughs> Alright, so what we're going to do in take two, because I know this is a thing I can do, and I do it all the time. The problem is, is that they don't put all the... Here we go. They don't put all of their stuff into one program they have one program for modifying and one program for this and that so it's just like instead of just selecting different item options you have to select a program so this is the original design as you can see it's really um it's just small right like that hoop is this so it just it's it's too small in this bag it gets really lost so we are going to i'm going to keep that there for reference and I'm going to open the hash marks embroidery file. The link isn't working for you. It should. Oh, I have other broadcasters going. That's my favorite when I have 
<laughs> windows hidden behind other windows. All right, one second. All right, that's what happens when I have somebody's browser window open and they start uh, broadcasting. So uh, let's bring that back. Um, put that there. Silence will follow. Open the hash marks. Let me try that site again. Maybe I meant, did I fat finger it? You hung the moon dot com. Oh, okay, good. All right, awesome. Because that would be a different kind of panic. All right. So what we're gonna do is the font. Actually, I'm not sure that I even like the font. So I'm gonna go back through them and see what I might like. If I like anything better and I have spoken before this is these are all just pre-generated fonts that come with the machine they're not anything special I haven't designed these war witch thank you so much you're so good to me thank you so much I appreciate it war witch is a fantastic streamer for I mean I'm pretty sure that everyone in here knows who he is because he's pretty awesome and you can hear yourself in the background because I have you open all the time. Um, all the time. And I need to mute you because of that. <laughs> all right. Where is it? There we go. Done! Quality stream. Quality streamer. <laughs> I like to keep my windows open and support my fellow uh, Twitch broadcasters, so sometimes it bites me in the butt. Enjoy your nap! I'm, I'm jealous. I can't, I can't lie. I'm a little jealous of your nap. Alright, so we're going to pick um, a font, a new font, and we want it to be something that isn't too far off the theme. Uh, it's Doctor Who, in case someone does not know the reference, because for some reason, not everyone watches Doctor Who. The more I look at these, though, the more I'm thinking I like the original font for this bag. I mean, the square serif's kind of okay, but I don't want something too creepy. I want the words to be pretty generic um, for this. So we're going to look to see what else we have. The silence. Yeah, so let's just go with our original font because, again, I do like it. So we're going to make it bigger. Silence. We're going to type it in all caps. Silence will fall. And that is too big, my friends. Ginormous. So we're going to uh, not go with that. So we're going to go somewhere, and this one's 15, so we're going to go somewhere in the middle. So let's try 20. Um, that's better. We're going to go with that. Okay. Delete. So that's the old one that we're just going to not use anymore. We're going to use the same size hash marks because we don't want the hash marks to be ginormous. It doesn't look good um, from a design standpoint. So we're going to save this. All right. So then we're going to rename it. Nope, we're not. We're going to duplicate it. We're going to close that one. We're going to use this one. Find kind of fast and loose when we use a uh, um, <laughs> display capture. I'm not a huge fan. Um, we're going to call this Silence Bag. Silence Bag V2. Because we already did V1. So bees, Raffalo, all the bees. All right, so uh, this for those just joining, this is going to be a messenger bag. It's going to go on this one. We're going to make it Amy in the colors of Miss Amy Pond. 
um, who is in Doctor Who. So we are going to create, we're going to surround this, the words with hash marks, um, just like in the episode where Amy uh, hash marks all over her arm to count how many silence she has seen, which are apparently <laughs> lots. So there's more hash marks in this bag than there was in the other one. We're not going to go too crazy. We're going to space them out. We're going to randomize them a little bit. We don't want them all to be exact because that's not visually interesting. We're also going to flip them around a little bit in a second. Um, like that one. Make it a little different. Make it a little higher. Move that one down. And this is basically kind of freestyle-y. You just, I just do what feels right. Um, and then respace things as needed. Move that one down a little bit. And up. All right. So I like how that looks. I think. Nope, not even. Um, that come back. Move that over. So spacing. I mean, this is a lot of design work is gut feel for embroidery design, unless you have something specific that you're trying to do. If you're trying to emulate something exactly, um, then you do. But mostly you just kind of wing it and hope for the best. That one's a little too straight. There we go. All right, I like that better. So I am going to save it because this app sometimes is a big butt and dislikes to crash. So what I'm going to do next is um, I am going to copy all of these if it will let me combine them all. Now I'm going to cut, um, highlight all of these on the top so that I don't have to go back and duplicate the work on the bottom. And I'm going to copy it down here. But what I am going to do, um, oh. all right, so we're going to center it. So now it's in the middle. Everything's good. But here, here's our issue here, right? So we're going to combine them all. Bam. One design. So we have this shows you all the threads in this design. 27. I don't, every time that that, um, every, a color changes, I have to hit a button. I don't want to have to hit a button every time the color changes. So what I'm going to do is combine all those threads. And so I can see, um, here, all the silver is, uh, the words. So I'm going to put those all together in the same so then now all the words will stitch out as one solid piece. Bam. Um, I'm also going to move those to stitch first. And then all the black is all the hash marks. We're going to combine those. And now, instead of like 27 changes on the machine, we have two. So it looks pretty good. Um, I know I like how the design looks in general because this, I already put it on a bag and it just didn't, um, it just wasn't big enough. It was like here. Uh, so this will work out much better. So we're going to make this in Amy Pond colors. Um, let me look it up real quick and show you Amy Pond. I did mean Amy Pond because my spelling is terrible. Apparently. Uh, so Amy Pond is, for those who don't know, this character from Doctor Who. And this is one of her more popular outfits. Um, I was actually, this 
picture right here. I went to New York City on Saturday and I found that rock in Central Park and sat on it because Doctor Who. Um, but that's an aside. Uh, for this, uh, this brown, I'm going to do the silence will fall in um, that maroon to match her outfit. Uh,